In this video, I'm going to teach you the easiest way to start a successful dropshipping business as a complete beginner. I'll show you how to find a winning product, how to build a store to sell that product, how to fulfill orders once you get them, and a few of my secrets that have allowed me to make six figures from e-commerce dropshipping. The first step of dropshipping is finding a product that people want or feel as if they need to buy. There's three main ways to do this. One is by going on Amazon's bestseller tab, then scrolling around until you find a winning product. And you may ask, Logan, how do you determine if a product is a winning product? Well, that's easy. Just follow this criteria. One, it solves a problem. Two, you can sell it for at least three times what you buy it for. Three, it is easy to ship, aka not fragile, doesn't weigh a lot, and has faster shipping times than four to six weeks. That criteria ensures the customers are willing to buy your product. You'll be able to heavily profit when they do purchase because of the high margins, and they won't want a refund because your shipping is good. The second way of finding a winning product is one I'm sure y'all have already heard of because I've talked about it many times in the past alongside virtually every other e-commerce YouTuber. It's the hashtag TikTok made me buy it method. This method is pretty self-explanatory. You go to TikTok and search the hashtag TikTok made me buy it, Amazon finds, or hashtag trending products, filter to the videos with the most likes in the last month, then scroll through those videos until you find a product that follows the criteria I talked about earlier. But one thing you want to make sure you do is read the comments on the videos because sometimes a product may look good at first glance and fit the winning product criteria but if the comments are full of people saying it's bad or a scam I would not try to drop ship that product like if we look at the comments of this random paintbrush cleaner they say I love this wow looks good I don't even paint and I need this I need that this is genius and thousands of other positive responses so this is a great example of what you would want the comments to say about a product that you were interested in selling and a bad Bad example is this car cover that's overpriced and impractical. The comments point out that there's cheaper options, say they get a window tint, say it's bad luck, say the stick is a big no-no just like a lesbian would say, and a lot of other bad remarks that discourage people from purchasing. So if you see those type of comments on a video, I would highly recommend not selling that product. The third way of finding a winning product is with the sponsor of today's video's winning product software, AutoDS. To do this method, just go to autods.com then press on winning products in the left menu. This will bring up a list of winning products that their software has found through analyzing the product's data and the ads that are promoting the product. Like if we click on this sports vibration belt, you can see AutoDS gives you all the data you could possibly need about the product, including the price, where it ships from, the shipping time, the potential profit, the target audience to sell it to, an advertisement that resulted in many product sales, and tons of other important information. So what you would do is double check the criteria I gave you earlier with this product's info and if it meets all the requirements you can start selling this product on your own website and to start selling it on your own website you need to create an online store with Shopify which is the platform that 99% of dropshippers use to sell their products so go to shopify.com by typing it in your search bar or clicking the link in my description everything I talk about in this video will be linked down there for your convenience and now that you're on Shopify sign up page I highly recommend you create a new Google account for your store. This way it keeps your personal emails and your business emails separate and it's way more professional for your customer service to say contact the name of your store at gmail.com instead of having your personal email. No one's going to take your business seriously if your contact email is cutegamer69 at gmail.com. So please create a new email that's formatted something similar to contact the name of your store at gmail.com. And for y'all that don't know how to name your store properly or create a logo, we'll go over that right now before creating the Shopify account. Choosing a name is way easier than you'd think. In fact, you don't even have to brainstorm like the old days because AI can do it for you. Like say I wanted to sell that sporty ab workout product I showed y'all earlier. I just go to ChatGPT, type give me 20 business name ideas for an electric sports vibrator that helps your abs show better. And bam, ChatGPT gave me a list of 20 great names I can choose from. I think I like Electrofit the best, so what I do is create an email account with that name name in front of Gmail, then I'd buy my website's domain on GoDaddy.com. Now, of course, Electrofit.com is already taken because it's a great name, but yours would most likely not be taken. So you'd just press make it yours, then purchase the domain for your website for around 10 bucks. And now that you've chosen a name, it's time to create a logo for your store. I personally always hire someone to do this on Fiverr because you can get a good logo for like 20 to 40 bucks. But for y'all trying to spend as little money as possible, you can go the Canva 
Canva.com. Sign up for a free trial, create a logo with all their free clip art, then cancel your free trial so you end up paying nothing. Just make sure when you create the logo, it perfectly relates to the product you're selling. It has a maximum of three colors because when you use more than three, it gets confusing. And you save it as a PNG file so it doesn't have a white square background. And now that you have your store name, logo, and domain, it's time to go back over the Shopify and sign up with the new email you just created. So type that email in here, press sign up, press I'm just starting, an online store, drop shipping products, then create a long password and click create Shopify ID to join. Once you're inside, Shopify will ask you for basic information like your name, address, plan type, and more. So enter all of that. And now it's time to import the product. To import your product, you're going to want to go back over the autods.com, select the product you chose earlier, press import draft, go the drafts, press import again. And now when you go back over the Shopify, your product will be there. Oh, and if you can't find your product on AutoDS's marketplace, you can import the product from AliExpress with its URL, then import it to Shopify. The next step is deciding how much to sell your product for. There's many factors that come into play here, including margins, branding, shipping, quality, etc. But what I always recommend you do is charge three times the price after the product and shipping costs. So if it costs six dollars to get the product and four dollars to ship it, that's ten bucks. Then multiply that number by three to get the price you should sell it for. Then type that price in here and type double that amount in the compare it price section. This makes your product show up as 50% off on your store so people feel as if they are getting a discount which makes them more inclined to buy. Then if we scroll up to the media section, these are the product photos that AutoDS imported for you. You can order them however you want, delete the ones you don't like, or add your own images by dragging and dropping them here. Then once you're done selecting your images, it's time to create your product page. The easiest way to make a product page as a beginner is to put all the meat in the description then add reviews at the bottom. These two steps are simple enough for anyone to do, yet very powerful if done right. So let's look at a product page I built in like two hours from a past challenge video, and then I'll show you how to create each part of it. This is the backcracker store I made for a three day challenge video that got me $450 in sales. It starts off with a sentence that helps persuade potential customers that my product will solve their problem. Then below that, I added this chart that illustrates the point above. To write persuasive text like that on your own website, you can do it yourself if you have experience in copywriting or let ChatGPT do it for you, then slightly reword it. It'll only take you like 20 minutes to write an entire description using AI. Then to create the chart under the description, you can hire a freelancer from Fiverr or Upwork to make it for around 20 bucks. Or if you have Photoshop skills, you could do it yourself. Then the last thing you need to know how to build to create a successful description is a GIF. GIFs are a literal must have on your store because if you can explain to your customer how your product will solve their problem in a quick five second GIF, they will be way more likely to purchase and your store will look more professional overall. To create GIFs, I normally download TikTok videos of people using my product with snaptick.com, then I go to giphy.com or Adobe's GIF maker to turn that video into a GIF. Once your GIF is created, you can simply drag and drop it where you want in your Shopify description. I normally add three to five GIFs in my description and match each one with a unique selling point. This way there is a nice ratio of imagery and text explanation. Then once you're done setting up your description, it's time to add product reviews. Product reviews increase a new customer's confidence in your business because if they see other people happy after purchasing your product, they internally feel as if they could have the same result. To add reviews, download the Shopify app A Reviews, which is free, then paste your supplier's product link into the top search bar, filter the five star reviews only, then press import reviews and they will show up on your store. And now that your beginner product page is built, I'm sure you're wondering, Logan, what do I do if I get a sale? Will it automatically ship to my customer? And the answer to that is yes, if you use AutoDS. AutoDS does what its name suggests. It automates most parts of the drop shipping process, including fulfillment. All you have to do is make sure you imported the product to Shopify through AutoDS, add a balance to your account, then AutoDS will purchase and ship the product automatically for you in their orders tab. How it works is when someone purchases your product, the order will alert AutoDS and be flagged as pending until the customer information is sent to the supplier. Then once the supplier ships the product, it will be flagged as shipped. And finally, when the product arrives at your customer's house, it will say deliver. As you can see, AutoDS is a literal must have for new drop shippers. And right now they're offering a free 30 day trial to everyone who signs up with the link in my description. So make 
make sure to take advantage of that before it's too late. And now that your store is complete and ready to fulfill orders, it's time to get traffic on your site so you can actually make some money. There's tons of ways to get people on your website, but they all boil down the two main sections, paid and organic traffic. Paid traffic is when you pay to get people on your site through ads, sponsorships, events, and other monetary inclined promotions. And organic traffic is when you get people on your site through methods that don't cost money, like social media, blogs, podcasts, word of mouth, etc. Both paid and organic traffic are very crucial to a business's success, but most people start with paid because you are guaranteed to get in front of people if you pay for it. Organic traffic is nice if you already have an email list or followers on social media, but for people without that, your podcast, blog, or whatever else you have would most likely get little views, which will result in no sales. So what I'd recommend you guys do is start with paid Facebook or TikTok ads that you can pay people to create on Fiverr, Billow, or bands off ads. Then if your ads are resulting in enough sales to be profitable, you can create social media accounts to start promoting your product organically. That's the format I personally use when running new stores. And if you want a more in-depth tutorial where I walk you through every step needed to create a successful dropshipping business, get ready for Ski Academy. Ski Academy is a platform I'm launching in a few months that will have an in-depth e-commerce video course, weekly calls with me, the ability to ask pro dropshippers your questions every day, a social media guide, and a lot more. This is going to be the best thing I've ever created in my life, and if you want to prepare to join Ski Academy, you can get my current dropshipping course in the link in my description. Everyone who buys that now or has already bought it will get early access and a discount on Ski Academy when that is released. So I'd highly recommend joining that now. There will be a limited number of spots when Ski Academy opens up, and buying my current written course will guarantee you a spot. Just go to loganski.com or click the first link in my description to join. And until my next video, you can watch this dropshipping challenge where I made $1,000 in one week from scratch. Thanks again for watching and God bless.